Look at Balmik over there. He is sitting up so straight and concentrating on Sarasota Kaylee. And then there is you. Always disrespectful. Whatever, Dad. Baby, take Vika. How many times I told you I'm getting so irritated. Look at Balmik over there. Well, guess what? I'm not Balmik. I don't want you to be Valmik, I want you to be like Valmik. I don't get this. You're idolizing a stone. Don't speak like that in Bhagwan. The Lord is everywhere. Do you get all this? How can you prove there is God? And how can you say this stone is alive? I've never seen him breathe or talk or anything. Yes, for sure I get all this. You don't need proof of the existence of God. Hey, why don't you tell her the riddle? The earth is round, right? Uh, yeah. It moves. Have you seen that it is round and that it moves? Nope. But it is true, though. Of course. The sky is blue and the sun is golden. But in actual fact, is the sky blue and the sun set golden? No. It is seen that way, but it is not in reality. It's false. The energy in the atom, the vitality in the sun, the gravitational force, all of these things are not seen, but they are true. Yeah, I guess. What about dreams, mirages, hallucinations? They are all seen, but they are not true. So just because you cannot see the Lord through fleshy eyes, on what grounds can you say it does not exist? Hmm, I guess I could believe there is a God. But still, how can I believe that stone or that image is of any importance? Say, do you have a picture of Reinaldi with you? Oh yeah, I always keep it with me. Hey, what was that for? How can you be so disrespectful to my Nanaji? What's wrong? It's only a picture, so your Nanaji is it? In this puja too, the idol is not a merely a stone to the devotee, for through it, he can experience the presence of the Lord. This is not experienced immediately. It comes over time to someone who tunes his mind while developing love towards the Lord. The function of an idol is to invoke in our mind the awareness of the presence of God, thus creating a friendship with him. It's like the flag of a country. Is the Canadian flag Canada? No, it represents Canada. Exactly. By understanding the symbolism of the statue in front of us and the action that we are doing, we gain a deep appreciation of his glory. You can think of God's expressions in all good qualities of mankind. You can see his glories in nature. You experience his expressions in the happiness and bliss. You have to be aware of him when you come across these qualities. I think I understand now, but why do we have so many different gods? Should there not just be one god, one statue? Betty, let me test you with the game. Grandpa, when did you get that? Oh, Nani, she got it for me, so I can FaceTime her and send what's up to her when she is visiting her sister in India. It is really nice. We also do Sky Puja and she broke her karma chart fast after she saw the moon and then me on sky. Anyway, here is the game. You have to connect as many symbols as possible in 10 seconds. Okay, uh, Google Internet, Apple iPhone, Target, Box Store, McDonald's, Fast Food, Kindle Books. Toy Book. I got it all. Three stars. See, because these symbols were familiar to you, you were able to quickly guess the meaning. In Puja of the great rishis have tried to do the same, each form of God. Reminds us of certain qualities we need to follow. Each ritual teaches us to focus and follow the right path. When we do Puja with full understanding, we get the full benefit. That is why I've been saying to go to Balvihar, and then you will know what you are doing. Okay, I get it now. Still, how is this going to help me in my life? These still feel like ancient practices. It's like spinning. If one goes round and round, 
faster and faster. You feel dizzy and you'll fall down. But say you are holding up to a pillar and you go round and round all day. You could go faster and longer, but when you get dizzy, you just hold on tight and your fall won't be so hard. The pillar will save you. This pillar is God in your life. Hang on to and move in the world. Faster and faster, enjoying what you want, but never lose your sight. This is the surest way to be safe in the journey of life. I should do the best in everything I undertake. Aspire to have the best things available, but I will keep God in the center always. Come everyone, let's do Arthi together. Then let us watch Mahadev Katha on TV. <laughs> Pranam Mataji and Pitaji. 